Hi guys, I'm Aaron Rump, and what I'm going to explain to you guys today is how to do uh, several types of ramping methods. Okay, so what I mean by that is whenever I'm cutting on the outside of my tool or outside of my profile, there's nothing for me to run into when I'm coming down. Okay, so if there's nothing for me to run into when I'm coming down, I have no problem. Well, with pocketing, it's going to be a little bit different. Okay, so what I mean by pocketing is that I'm actually going to come down to the face of my material and then I'm actually gonna to have to go into the pocket so that I can create the pocket, okay? So I can't go straight down in the material. I can't plunge in the material. It's not good for the tool, it's not good for the machine, okay? So what I have here is I have my zigzag method I'm gonna be showing you first. I'm going to X0, Y0, and Z0. So I'm going to the center of my part and I'm coming down to the face of my material. Now keep in mind, I would probably have my Z on a different line, but for this demonstration, I have it all on the same line. So my question, my problem is, I have a Z minus 25 thousandths and a Z minus 50 thousandths. So that's me plunging into my material. I can't plunge into the material, okay? So what that means is I'm gonna have to add motion to my Z pass, okay? So what that means is, I'm gonna come over here. I need to move more than half the diameter of my tool. So if I have a half inch tool, if I have the room, I'm gonna go ahead and just move a half inch. But if I moved 300 thousandths, that would still work as well. So I'm gonna go X minus 500 thousandths. And because the X and the Z are on the same line, my tool is going to move over to the end right there. And at the same time it's moving over, it's gonna start moving down as well, okay? So next thing I need to do is I need to get back to my X, Y, zero, but I need to get down to my 50 thousandths, okay? So what I'm gonna have to do, very simple, is I'm just gonna put X zero, okay? When I put X zero in there, my tool is just gonna come right back to where I started, okay? And then it has gone down another 20, 50 thousandths, okay? It's gone down another 25 to get to 50. So with this motion right here, I'm coming down 25 thousandths, and then I went down another 25 thousandths. So that way my depth right now is 50, okay? Once I'm at this depth, I can go to the side of my pocket and I can start opening it up, okay? At which point in time, as I'm going around my pocket, once I'm done, I will come back to the X, Y, zero. Okay, once I'm here, I can copy and paste all that pass that I just did, and then I can just change my Z negative 25 thousandths to 75 thousandths. So it'll go 75 thousandths, and then I can change my Z to 100 thousandths. It will go down 100 thousandths, and then I can open up my pocket again. Okay, so that's my zigzag method. Let's see what it looks like in action, okay? So what I got is I got my single block on, okay? We're actually gonna come over here. We'll reset that real quick. Try again, okay? So I'm coming down, calling up my tool, calling up the length, so zigzag pocketing, here we go, okay? So what I'm gonna do is you look above it, I've came down to Z zero. I am right on top of the face of that part. So at this point, I'm going to come over a half an inch and I've gone down 25 thousandths, okay? Then I'm gonna come right back, the X zero, Z 50 thousandths, okay? At which point I can do my square. I'm going all the way around it. Now keep in mind, my pocket's big, so I'm making smaller little squares inside the pocket before I actually turn on my cutter compensation, okay? If you watch my other video on uh, cutter compensation, you'll see that I'll, I'll explain it in that video as well, okay? So I'm turning on my cutter comp, coming to the edge of my material, and then I'm gonna go all the way around my part. And notice, I'm all the way around the part, I'm gonna turn off my cutter comp and come back to center, okay? So with that being said, I can copy and paste all, the, all that tool path and just change those Z levels, okay? That works out really good. So let's change this over so that I can start running my 
helical pocketing. Ooh, that's going to be exciting. Okay, so let's go back to my screen over here. Let's minimize, minimize. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to look at my helical pocketing. Okay, helical ramping, whichever one you want to call it. So what I'm going to do on this example <clears throat> is I'm actually going to start at X zero, okay, X, Y, zero, right at the center of my part. So if you need the Y zero on there, we'll put it on there for you. Okay, Y zero. So right now I am at the center of my part and that is my starting point, okay? I have come down to Z zero. So now I am flush with the top of my part. And then my first move is an X 500 thousandths, okay? So I've moved 500 thousandths over this next move, G03. That is a counterclockwise circle, okay? My I and my X have to match, and the I has to be a negative. That will cause a climb cut circle all the way around, okay? But keep in mind, all I did was a circle. I want to actually ramp into the material okay so in order for me to ramp into the material i'm going to add a z minus 50 thousandths okay so that means as this is going around it's getting deeper into the pocket okay it's going deeper so right now i'm 25 thousandths deep because i'm halfway around the circle as i come back around I have now reached my total depth of 50 thousandths, okay? At which point I could come out to the side and I could do another pocket if I wanted to, come out more and do another pocket, another pocket, however many pockets you need to make that part. But here's the thing, once I'm at my Z depth, I do not have to add another Z depth. I can simply move out and add another G03, and I minus, okay, and whatever your variable is that you moved over. So if I moved over X one inch, my I would be a negative one inch, okay? And I can do that as many times as I want. So let's see what this looks like in action, okay? So I'll come to my simulation, okay? Helical pocketing. We're going to come all the way down, okay? So I am right at X zero, Y zero. Okay, I am now flush with the top of my part. The bottom of my cutting tool is flush with the top surface of my pocket where I want it to be. Okay, helical pocketing. You'll notice I'm gonna move over my half inch and then I've got my G03, my I minus 0.5 and my Z minus 50 thousandths, okay? It does my circle. Now, I did another circle because when I ramp down behind the tool is like a it's like a spiral staircase it's going up so I want to get rid of my spiral staircase by making another circle there was no Z move therefore all it did was a circle so I need to move out a little bit more okay so I moved out an inch okay like I said if I move out my X and my I have to match because if you don't you'll end up with a very egged circle and it will move my tool out of position Okay, from here, I'm done. I've got all the material roughed out of my pocket. I've come back to the center. Now that I'm at the center of my pocket, I'm going to be able to engage cutter comp. Like I said, refer back to my cutter compensation video. And I'm going to move to the side of my pocket, at which time I'm going to go all the way around it. Okay, now once I am done, again, as I move to center, I am canceling cutter comp. And that's how you do a helical ramping pass right there. And last but not least, I've got my pre-drill, okay? So what I've done is I've gone to X zero, Y zero. You can actually put this hole wherever you want to in the pocket. It doesn't have to be at X, Y zero. But what I've done is I've drilled a hole in, the, in, a, in a certain location. So that means that there's no material below my tool so I can come straight down into the pocket. So that's pretty cool, okay? But I gotta make sure that my drilled hole is the same size or bigger than the end mill that I am using, okay? 
So once I'm here, I can simply go Z minus 50 thousandths, and then I can open up my pocket and move wherever it is I need to go all the way around it. But I gotta remember to return back to X, Y, zero before going down any further, okay? So these are my three methods for making a pocket. I have my zigzag ramping, my helical ramping, and then I have my pre-drilled hole, okay? For any other questions, be sure and come see me. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Again, my name is Aaron Rump. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.